Hi, James here. Here's part two of the palettes tutorial. We're going to start by getting the sun to look a sort of a feathered look on the outside rather than this solid block. To do this, we're going to use the radial gradient, which is basically, if you think of it, is a circular gradient starting at the center and going out. And you have these points which you can pull along to edit the gradient. The first point I set into a nice orange color, so the center's got an orange. I'm going to keep the outside with yellow. And the far right point that I added, I'm going to take all of the alpha off it so that it has this feathered look at the edge. Now you'll see that it isn't set up at all right at the moment because that isn't what we're hoping for with our sun. So we're going to have to use the edit texture and we're going to have to set it up the way we want. So here I am, I'm going to move it right into the middle of the circle and I'm going to scale it down so that it fits inside. I know you can't really see this so I might zoom in a little in a second. And so now you can see that the outside is you know, nice and feathered and I'll turn the sky off so you can see the blue lines and now you can see that the actual texture is completely inside. I want the texture to be completely inside the circle because you want it to fade off to nothing. So now you can see I've got this orange sun with this yellow outline and a nice little sort of feathered bit going out. You can edit those settings to make it however you like. So now we have a sun. The next thing we need to do do something with our sky texture because that blue is just too plain for me. So we're going to use a linear gradient this time and I'm going to take it from a light blue to a sort of a dark blue. You simply pick the left swatch on the gradient for one color and then you select the one on the right if you want to change the right color. Again we're going to have to edit the way that the gradient is on this because we don't want it going left from left to right we want it going up to down so I, I'm going to zoom right out because I know that you know I'm going to need a fair bit of reducing here when I rotated it around I held the shift key so that it moved in increments of five and that meant I was able to easily select 90 degrees so now you can see we've got a nice sort of skyline and it goes from a light blue at the bottom to a darker blue at the top. And here I'm just sort of editing it because I, you know, I like to get things perfect and to me that looks a little bit better. So now we have our basic scene set up. It's time to use the palettes to give our scene a whole new lease of life. First of all I'm going to clone the hills palette. And you'll see by doing this, I'll be able to use another palette to create a whole new look for it. We're going to try to create a sort of a... Oops, I didn't mean to do that on the sky. Let's undo that. I'm not select, not have anything selected, so I'll deselect that. So first of all, we're going to grab our darkest hill tone and we're going to try to pick a, a darkish yellow for it. I like these little swatches that they had, which show the few tones before and the few tones after. That really lets you select a colour which is close in tone. See, I'm only trying to pick some subtle differences here. You just want the furthest one to be darker. It's just, it'll give it a little bit of depth. And here we go. We just Now we've got a sort of a desert look. Now all I have to do is change the edging to a more appropriate colour than dark green, I think. An orange will be nice here, and that sort of gives you a desert look. You know, it looks like a nice hot desert day. Let's just darken that edging a little bit. It's a little bit bright. So now we have a desert. Simple. And you can just switch backwards and forwards between your hills and your desert. And now I'm going to clone it again, and I'm going to sort of make a really alien looking one. I'm going to go to yeah, some bluish or purple hills and see how different we can make the same look. You'll notice I flick between the multi-wheel mode and the other mode for this. 
it's your choice which one you like to use better. I like to use a combination of the two. I use the other mode if I'm going to use the, change the saturation to make a color darker or lighter. So here we go. I'm basically, whenever I pick a new tone, I take the tone of the back or using the eyedropper and then pick one which is lighter. It's just kind of going to be all sort of a Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds type scene, sort of like you're on LSD or something. Not that you should take LSD or anything like that. So that kind of looks rather trippy. And you see we've now got three different scenes. But that blue sky looks kind of weird with... Yeah, the blue sky looks a bit weird with the blue hills. But anyway, well first, now we need to work on getting a sunset. Because I really want to sort of change this and see what we can make the scene look like with a sunset. So I'm going to clone it. This is going to be a sun sky sort of sunset version of it. And so we'll now be able to select between a sunset and the beautiful blue sky. So to do this, we're going to need to change this gradient for the sky. And you're going to want a sort of an orange on the bottom and a sort of a darker blue on the top. You know, you can do this to taste however you like. I'm just going to sort of pick a colour which I think sort of suits it. To me, the blue is too light now, so let's just darken the blue up a bit. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. If you make a mistake, just pull it to the left and you can reselect the one that you had. Pick a darker blue here. And see, see, that's looking more like a sunset now. But that sun, when you have a sunset, is more orange than it is yellow. So let's make a sun much more orange than it is. And obviously, we want to move it down, so we're just going to grab it and move it. And there we have a sort of a sunset on our scene. I'm going to add some shading here because I think that you know the hills, while the sunset is convincing, these hills are making me not think that it's a sunset. So I'm going to grab a nice large box over the top. You want it to cover all of your scene. And I'm going to use a gradient to create some darkness at the front. You can do this by creating a black texture which just goes off into a zero alpha. Or you might not want to make it completely black at the start. I'm just going to make it black at the start for simple, to make it simple. But you could start with, say, 50% gradient or something. So that it's, I mean, 50% alpha, so that it starts being see through. Oops, I picked the sun. So let's go and pick the gradient we created. Again, we're going to have to set the gradient so that it's the right direction. We want it to be up and down. And we want the light to be at the top so that you know, our gradient is not affecting the sky very much and mainly just affecting the hills because your yeah, darkness doesn't affect the sky. Here we go, and that looks nice. And now we sort of have some dark hills at the front. And that looks like a sunset scene. Of course, you turn that shading off when you're doing a day scene now. But there's your sunset. Now you'll find when you're layering them, you'll want to use the move up to put the one which you want to show at the top. So I'm going to move my sunset up to the top so that I can now select the different layers so we can have a sunset on all of our different backgrounds. If you don't want that, then you move back down.